everybody, Hooded Cobra Commander 788 here, and this is a very quick look at the 1982 and 1983 Cobra Officer. Uh, this is a figure that also did not make the cut for Cobra Month, but he deserves an honorable mention. Uh, the 1982 version uh, had the straight arm articulation. He only had a bend at the elbow. Uh, that was the only articulation he had um, at that part of his arm, but in 1982 they came out with the swivel arm battle grip, so he had a swivel at his bicep as well, so he could hold his uh, weapon with a two-handed grip. And this figure came with one accessory, this AK-47 assault rifle. And the original is a dark gray like this. And for some reason, this accessory was a pain in the nuggets to find. Uh, it took me a long time to complete the Cobra Officer, uh, mainly because I had a hard time tracking down this accessory at a reasonable price. I don't know why this uh, weapon would be more rare than any other uh, accessory from that era, but this one I had a harder time finding than, you know, a lot of other accessories from 1982 and 1983. You see the blue version uh, quite often, uh, the version that came with the accessory pack. This is not uh, an original. This is, uh, it's not a reproduction either. It, it was, it is vintage, but it was not original to the figure. Uh, you see those all the time. You see the originals a, a lot less frequently. Uh, that's his file card back there. Uh, the original carded figure, uh, of course, had the file card printed on the back of the packaging. You can see some of the artwork on the front there. Uh, a few of these Cobra officers uh, came with, uh, like, in a three-pack or with the Sears-exclusive um, Cobra Missile Command uh, playset. Uh, and those had red back cards like this one. Uh, you don't see those quite as often. Uh, that's uh, the Cobra Officer. Um, he does have the same problem that a lot of these Cobra action figures did that had the silver painted Cobra sigil on the chest. That silver paint rubs off very easily and unfortunately all of mine have damage to the paint or the paint is completely gone. It's really hard to find one that's in pristine condition and these are actually the best ones that I have. Um, all the rest are even even worse than these. Um, you can see a little bit of a color difference between these two. Originally I thought perhaps uh, these 82 versions were uh, made with a different color of blue plastic, but uh, now I think that's incorrect. I think this is actually just sun damaged. It's gotten darker because it's uh, been out in the sun, basically. Uh, but this would be the original color of blue. Uh, well, that is the Cobra Officer. I hope you enjoyed taking a quick look at it, and I'll see you pretty soon with a full review of the next, uh, next installment of Cobra Month. I'll see you then.